German warship entering on South China Sea. Germany dispatched a frigate to the Indo-Pacific region on Monday for the first time in almost 20 years in a move that could put strain on Berlin's delicate relationship with Beijing. The Bayern sailed from Wilhelmshaven Harbor with more than 200 soldiers on board for a six-month mission to strengthen Germany's presence in the region that will take it to Singapore, South Korea, and Australia. Crucially, in December, it will also pass through the South China Sea, a flashpoint of tensions between China its neighbors in the region and their Western allies, such as the United States. Yet, Kramp Karen Bauer insisted the mission was not directed against any particular country and noted that Germany had offered to visit a Chinese harbor in order to maintain dialogue. Officials in Berlin have said the German Navy will stick to common trade routes. The frigate is not expected to sail through the Taiwan Strait either. Nevertheless, Berlin has made it clear the mission serves to stress the fact Germany does not accept China's territorial claims. The ship will also take part in the EU's Atalanta anti-privacy mission in East Africa and help monitor UN sanctions against North Korea. The Indo-Pacific is where the shape of the international order of the future will be decided. We want to help shape it and take responsibility for the rules-based international order, Foreign Minister Heiko Maas said on Sunday. Beijing's actions in the South China Sea have long fueled tensions with the West, with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin emphasizing last week that China's claims have no basis in international law. China claims almost all of the resource-rich sea, through which trillions of dollars in shipping trade passes annually, and dismisses competing claims with Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam. Germany, a key U.S. ally, is usually reticent to take a military role on the international stage, and has often urged a less confrontational relationship with Beijing. Yet Berlin's tone on China is changing, with an investment deal signed in 2020 since shelved, and now German government guidelines published in 2020 to strengthen ties with Southeast Asian partners. In March, the EU also sanctioned four Chinese officials over suspected human rights violations in China's far western region of Xinjiang. But Europe's biggest economy's relationship with Beijing is also complicated by strong business ties to China. Germany's biggest car maker, Volkswagen, operates in Xinjiang province, despite the mass incarceration of the Uyghur minority, a campaign that Washington describes as genocide.
Portside, we came away. Portside. 